Hi everybody, this is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobot1970. This is my review for a day, and today's review, ladies and dudes, well my friends, it's that time again for another top 10 list that nobody has never done before. And this top 10 list will be somewhat kind of different, but yet the same list that I did from a couple of weeks ago that evolved an oh heck no moment. So for today's top 10 list I want to do is my top 10 most oh heck no moments in movies. And this list is going to be the most serious one of all. And I'm not going to add any oh heck no moments that features comedy. If you guys remember my top 10 most oh heck no moments in movies, I did a couple of some of these funny moments here and there that I decided to add on the list. That's really, really funny. And these oh heck no moments is truly one of the best. That evolved something really, really funny. But for this list, I'm just going to add something really, really different, but it has to be freaking serious. And for these most oh heck no moments I have to put on this list is when a main character gets in trouble or when the main character felt really, really bad for doing something that they should never have done so long ago. Or something even worse, when a main character is going to get kidnapped by the main enemy by using that person or creature whoever they are is becoming the main puppet for something that's really really bad and all that stuff if you know what I mean and I think that's it for now so anyway without further ado ladies and dudes here are my top 10 most Oh, heck no moment in anime. So let's get this started. At number 10, Ghost of Rumbling Hearts. One of the most biggest things I will never forget in this anime is a couple flaws that came from Mitsuki. That's her right here, uh, the one with the purple hair. One of the most biggest things that Mitsuki will ever feel her regrets for is betraying Haruka, doing something behind her back by taking away her boyfriend, Takayuki, and Mitsuki and Takayuki got involved with this affair thingy. Um, Mitsuki got drunk a couple of times by hanging around with so many wrong people at the wrong time. And I will never forget at episode 10, the end of episode 10, and the beginning of episode 11, there was a part where Mitsuki had sex with Shinji while she is freaking drunk. You're not allowed to do that. Having sex with a good friend that you know and getting really, really drunk. So, yeah. A few flaws from Mitsuki deserves to be at number 10. Number 9 goes to Princess Mononoke. One of the things that Lei Uboshi will ever feel her regrets for is leaving her villagers behind while there's a war going on, getting involved with the monks, and going after uh, that Nightwalker, stealing the head, and there's going to be a big giant ghoul on the loose that will destroy the whole entire forest and the whole entire area in Japan. Yeah, it's all Lady Boshi's fault for shooting the poor Nightwalker and stealing the head. And, and that's where Japan gets in trouble, I guess. So yeah, that deserves to be at number 9. And number 8 goes to Samurai 7. And it took place on episode 25, where the samurais are hanging on to their last battle of their lives. And one of the things that happened in that anime is somewhere around the near end of it, where Kashiro had grabbed 
somebody's gun, he shoots one of the bandits, but he had no idea that he also shot Kuzo as well. And poor Kuzo had died. Let's just say uh, Kashiro just killed Kuzo by accident. If you know, I mean, so that deserves to be at number eight. At number seven goes to G Gundam. And it happened on episode 46 and 47. The part where Rain is going to get in big trouble where she got kidnapped by Lube and Lube is going to use Rain to become some type of life source for the Dark Gundam. And for what had happened on episode 47, there was a part where Rain became a statue. She was unconscious for a while. And she was freaking naked. Really? She got naked in this episode? Oh my gosh. That's not right at all. What happened to Rain's clothes? Did, did Lube took them off? Or maybe the Dark Gundam did? Who knows? But that deserves to be a number seven. At number six goes to Megazone 2 3, part one. And it took place somewhere around at the near end of the first OVA. You know this character na named Mai. She dreams to become a director. She wants to make a really, really good movie. And she wants to make up a good sci-fi movie that involves a guy who has a cool motorcycle that transformed into an awesome machine. She was so excited to finish up with that movie, but not until one of BD's men had shown up to the apartment and one of them is carrying a gun. And for what had happened, boom, my got killed by one of BD's men, and one of BD's men had truly stolen one of her famous films that she worked hard to make for who knows how long. It's a sad shame, so I decided to put that at number six. At number five, goes to Perfect Blue. One of the most biggest m regrets that Mima had ever done in her life to become a main actress to become one of these characters for the main show called Double Bind. Her character is going to get involved into a strip bar and she's going to get raped by one of them and this is where Mima's innocence got very very lost. And Mima didn't know that rape scene looks Pretty darn real, and not just acting. I feel bad for poor Mima, and that deserves to be at number five. Number four goes to Samurai X, Trust and Betrayal. And it happened at the near end of the origin story of Kenshin's past. The part where Kenshin got beat up really, really badly by one of these evil ninja dudes. And that ninja dude is going to use Tomo's da dagger to finish Kenshin off. But then Kenshin started to scream and he marched out to that guy. He's going to use his sword to kill that guy off. But he did not know that Tomo was in the way. And Sally, Kenshin just killed her by accident and this is one of the most saddest scenes I'll never forget in anime history where Kenshin killed the one that he loved. That's so, so darn sad. And finally ladies and dudes we are hanging on to my top three most biggest oh heck no moments in anime history. So let's get this started. At number three goes to Dragon Ball Z. At the beginning in the TV series of the Saiyan Saga. And it happened on, I think it's episode four, 
where Goku and Piccolo are trying really, really hard to beat Raditz and find his main weak point of this evil Saiyan. And Goku worked really, really hard to pull Raditz's tail. And um, Goku told Raditz to get out of Earth and never come back ever again. And Raditz made that, that lie that he will never come back, whatever. And this is where the part where Raditz decided to beat up Goku. And just try to kill him by force. So yeah, I will say this biggest Ohag Noma I will never forget is when Goku got tricked by Raz, and Raz is going to beat up his little brother. That's not a good sign at all. So I put that at number three. Number two goes to Basilis, and it happened on episode fourteen called the Fallen Flower. And it's one of the most tragic moments I will never forget in this anime when poor sweet Obro is going to get raped by this evil madman named Tenzin. And Tenzin said a whole lot of bad things in front of Obro's face of what she needs to do when a few days will pass if she will ever see Gonosuke Sama again. If you know, what I mean. I feel bad for Obro getting raped by that evil madman, and I will never forgive Tenzin for what he had done to Obro and destroying her innocence. That is not a good sign at all. So I decided to put that in number two. And finally, ladies and dudes, my number one most biggest oh heck no mama I will never forget in anime history goes to Pokemon all the seasons from season one to season 17 where there's gonna be a couple episodes here and there where Ash's precious Pikachu is going to get kidnapped by these evil losers called Team Rocket. And Team Rocket want to kidnap Ash's Pikachu for some unknown reason. But we have no idea what. Ash, if you want to protect this little Pokemon at all costs, you better make up a choice. Do you want to put Pikachu back in its Pokeball? Or try to make it to evolve into a Raichu? It's your choice and your choice alone. So Pikachu getting kidnapped by Team Rocket deserves to be the number one most biggest oh heck no moment in anime history, period. And there you go, ladies and dudes. Those are my top ten most biggest oh heck no moments in anime history. I hope you enjoyed this list. And tell me, ladies and dudes, what is your most biggest oh heck no moments that you ever seen in anime history? Whichever it is, leave a comment there and let me know. And join me next time as I do my next top 10 list of my top 10 most oh heck yeah moments in anime history. So be prepared for that one to come and I'll see you all later. Sayonara!